And welcome to Go Market Update Charts for the day for today, the 18th of April 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst of Go Markets here to lead you around what's happening in markets today. Of course, across the news last night, we had US equity markets showing mild gains close towards the highs of the session. Of course, we get US earnings ramp up this week. We saw some USD strengths on the back of a rise in bond yields. US futures are near neutral in early Asian trading. Asian markets are mixed but cautious. The ASX was down around 0.5% after open. European markets pointing to a positive open if we look at the futures contracts. And the VIX has dropped to 15-month lows. US dollar index, as we've already said, moved higher but remains in a downward trend channel. As a result of that USD strength, we saw gold pull back again to test key 2000 levels. Copper is still in a short-term range after a bounce off resistance to the downside. And oil is trading in a range also, but at a weekly low. Bitcoin also retraced from an 11-month high and back below 30,000. Lots of data going on today. Obviously, US earnings are in focus. We've got the RBA minutes. Chinese GDP, retail sales and industrial production. UK jobs, German and Eurozone economic sentiment, at Canadian CPI and US housing data all out today as well as some big companies reporting earnings including netflix after the bell and some big banks prior to market open lots for the markets to digest let's have a look at a couple of charts that's caught our eye and we are having a look at piedmont lithium ticket code pll you can see that yesterday it breached its 200 ma closing towards the high of the session got some follow through in asia today and if we just put this on a line chart, you can see it looks like a technical long-term double bottom. We can put a line in the sand at around about 89 cents there. And you can see if we breach that, could be up to mid 90s in the not too distant future. If this buying momentum continues, that would be a rise of around about 8% looking at today's current price. So one to watch without a doubt, see how it closes towards the back end of the day. This may be influenced by what happens with that China data in a while. Now we're just looking at the Euro USD. Uh, obviously, we had that pullback from 12 month highs yesterday. Uh, back beneath what looks like an important level at just around 110. In terms of the downside on this, if we get this continuing, we could see it drop as far as 108.52, but we suspect we may get a bounce to the upside. If we look at a 30 minute chart in Asia, you can see we're trading quite flat at the moment, but we do have evidence of a bottom in place, at least in the short term. And around this 109.30 level looks interesting. There could be a move up, perhaps around about 32 to 35 pips. If we get a breach of 109.30, that's one to keep an eye on, but we could see lots of movement going on with this during the course of the day, particularly when the European and US sessions open respectively. So I want to keep an eye on throughout the day. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.